Hi everybody, welcome back to Keto Christina. Today I've got a food haul for you. Um, in case you haven't been here before, my name is Christina. I am a keto nutritionist. I have lost more than 100 pounds with keto myself, went back to college, became a certified nutritionist, went on and did some extra studies in ketogenic treatments, and now I'm fully qualified, living a life, coaching clients, etc. So, as a keto nutritionist, obviously, one, it's important that my food is in line with keto, but second of all, that it's nutritionally dense. Now, you're going to see a good mix of food here, and um, I'm going to explain to you okay, what we do with each thing. Um, not in too much detail, this won't be a long video, don't we? Um, and just go, go through everything and show you what, what we eat in a week. Now, I, there's three of us in my family, there's myself, my husband, and our teenage daughter. Um, our teenage daughter is 17 and she's mostly low carb, the occasional high carb days when she goes out with her friends and then she'll cycle in and out of keto. At 17, unless there's any metabolic issues already, um, low carb is generally good, especially for girls because it supports their hormones. So I'm going to go through what we bought today and show you what we're going to do with each thing. I've got some mushrooms here. These are uh, grey, I don't know what they're called, grey trumpet mushrooms I think they're called. Um, these are produced in France. I love mushrooms because they're highly, highly nutritious and I actually crave them regularly because they really are full of nutrition and there's actually a lot of electrolytes in them. That They're a great source of um, electrolytes. I've got three litres of unsweetened, unroasted almond milk, and this is what I use in tea and coffee. And this is great because it's actually zero carb, you can see it there, and there's only 13 calories per 100 ml. Uh, so I use that in bulletproof coffee, and I use it in normal coffee, and I use it in tea as well. Again, it's unsweetened, so sans sucre, without sugar. It's the unroasted, unsweetened almond milk. I've got three of these huge cucumbers uh they're a favorite of my husband mr keto he loves cucumbers so we would eat these um sliced and diced in with tomatoes in a kind of a salad or i sometimes slice them thinly and put cream cheese on them um or we slice them long ways put salt on them and just eat them as they are I got four of these nice organic courgettes. These are these come from Italy. These courgettes, as I throw them around, um, so we we would do spiralized courgettes with these, so courgette, or we will do them chopped and roasted in oil in the oven. And two remain lettuces. Um, we eat. Mr. Kito likes to eat these just as they are. I prefer to have them uh, as buns for burgers. Um, I'm not a big leaf person. Um, I prefer other types of salad. So um, he likes the, them as they are, and, or else we can use them as um, wraps or the buns for burgers. I got these gorgeous organic lemons from Italy. They're really nice. So what we do with these is um, use them in hot water, use them in drinks, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over, and um, maybe some berries. The, the, it's very, very versatile. I got these really nice cream cheese, and um, these are, this is uh, prosciutto crudo. This is uh, like Parma ham with cream cheese, and in the cream cheese there's cashew, pecans, and walnuts. Now the the carbs in them are really low so it's two grams for the entire pack um and that that entire pack then would keep you full i often use these as meal replacement if i'm in a hurry uh, i just grab the pack and um it's only two grams of carbs got some organic beef burgers there's two burgers in each pack and they're actually separate so you can open one and leave the other one behind um, so we we'll, we'll have these with the with the lettuce as buns and some cheese, maybe bacon and a little bit of um, stevia sweetened ketchup. I've got a guinea fowl. Uh, this is a really nice alternative to chicken. Um, obviously, chicken is highly, highly, highly industrialized um, when it comes to the farming of the birds. And obviously, we should try and buy as high welfare as possible. This is actually high welfare, even though it's a guinea fowl. It's La Belle Rouge, which is um, red label. And here in France, red label is very, very high welfare. Um, you can see that it's an, a really naturally shaped bird. The breast is not gigantic the legs are bigger than it 
as it should be because when the bird is standing like this obviously the legs are supporting it so the legs should be bigger and um, but not unnaturally so but this is a delicious uh, meat okay moving on we got some English style bacon um, or Irish style depending on where you're from um, love this for breakfast it's great for uh, sometimes for a quick dinner in the evening just to stick on some bacon and eggs we got some prosciutto crudo this is um, prosciutto from San Daniele and the great thing about this is that there is no let me see the, the ingredients uh, let me see if there's an English one there is so you can see it's Italian pork leg and sea salt and that's all that's in them so if you get these ones that are protected so prosciutto di San Daniele or prosciutto di Parma neither of those hams are going to have any nasty ingredients they're not allowed by law they're protected as you can see they have the um the geographical um protection and one of the rules in italy about this geographical protection is that they don't add anything except salt to the meat so it's the purest kind of processed if you want meat that you can get We've also got some salami here. Unfortunately, with the salami, you're going to get sugar. Yeah, we have dextrose. So, unfortunately, it's you can't escape it. So, we go easy. We don't eat a whole lot of it, but we, we do eat it regularly enough. And again, cooked ham. And this one, I believe, is probably only in French. Yeah, but there's dextrose in it as well. So, um, just be wary of that, that, that your, the, these processed meats do have sugar in them. Um, these ones won't, so the prosciutto di San Daniele and prosciutto di Parma won't have any in it. I've got my omega-3 supplements because I don't eat fish. I got this cheddar and unfortunately this was all the cheddar they had which was the cheddar that has, um, I think this one has potato or uh, actually it's, um, yeah, it's potato starch in it. Um, so for 100 grams, um, the carbs are four grams so um i just take that into consideration and use less than i would of a grated one unfortunately that's all they had and that's all i could get nice big tub of mascarpone we use this um as a dessert we will put either a little bit of stevia and some drops of lemon essence or again some stevia and some cocoa and it's just really nice it actually tastes just like cheesecake um without the carbs this one is actually got it's really good it's 2.2 2.5 grams of carbs per 100 grams you can see there 2.5 grams so um you get a lot of um a lot of fat for just a few carbs got some bernay sauce this is really one of my favorite it's with butter and tarragon and it's delicious with steak 12 eggs because it wouldn't be one of my food hauls without eggs i got macadamia nuts because mr keto loves these i'm not a big fan of them but he likes them two bars of lint 90% and this is probably one of the best um, chocolates that you can get there is um, a little bit of sugar in it okay so let me see if I can find this English no this French um, so it's um, it's basically just a cocoa um, butter um, and there's uh, a little bit of sugar and vanilla so in a hundred gram bar so in the entire bar there's 14 grams of carbs so it really does go a long way because if you have two pieces it's more than enough sometimes one square is enough because it's so rich and then lastly i have three of these chicken legs and again these are the la belle rouge which is the the higher welfare chicken which means that there's limits on how young um the chicken can be i think with la belle rouge they only um, slaughter the chickens if they're more than 80 days old. So this is really good. They have a really good life and they, they are looked after well, um, which is good for us and good for them and good for the environment. So that's it.